Hello, uh, good morning. In this lecture, uh, I am going to discuss three dimensional harmonic oscillator. In the last lecture, uh, we had discussed uh, one, di one dimensional harmonic oscillator and uh, we uh, saw some important features. Okay, uh, so in this lecture, I am going to discuss 3D. Okay, uh, see in three dimensional harmonic oscillator, what is meant by that? what is meant by a third dimensional harmonic oscillator if potential energy okay if potential energy of a harmonic oscillator depends on uh, the coordinate x y z we call that potent uh, oscillator as three dimensional oscillator okay so for three dimensional oscillator the potential energy can be given as kx x square by 2 ky y square by 2 kz z square by 2 where kx ky and kz are force constant components in x y z axis okay then so this is the potential energy for a three dimensional harmonic oscillator right now what i'm going to do uh, suppose if i assume the force constant x component of force constant y component and z component if all the three are equal okay if they are three are equal you can uh, take it as k if these force constants are equal we can call the uh, you can call uh, the oscillator the three dimensional harmonic oscillator as isotropic oscillator so in this case this three dimensional harmonic oscillator can be called as isotropic oscillator so remember in the case of isotropic oscillator okay the force constants are equal okay the component of force constant are equal and if force constant are equal you know very well uh, the value of alpha depends on root of k mu by h bar square okay uh, alpha depends on the value of k because mu and the h bar are constant for a given molecule okay so the only uh, variable here is k since k is equal for all the uh, uh, three components okay so alpha also equal so which means alpha x alpha y alpha z they are also equal if alpha are equal then if k equal frequency also equal because you know very well frequency nu is equal to 1 by 2 pi root of k by mu for a given molecule mu is constant 2 pi everything is constant so only the uh, variable is k here right since kx ky kz are all, all are equal for isotropic oscillator the frequencies nu x nu y and nu z they are also equal you can also take it as nu simply okay so remember for isotropic oscillator all the force constants are equal that is x component of force constant y component z component all are equal and alpha values are equal okay and frequency is also equal right so that is the first uh, point i like to give here then the next one uh, so since kx ky kz are equal which are equal to k so i can put k here k here k here i'll take k by 2 as common if I take k by 2 as common, I'll get x square plus y square plus z square. Remember, x square plus y square plus z square, it is the equation of uh, uh, sphere, right? It's an equation of sphere. So it represents, uh, uh, it, it, or it can be uh, replaced as r, where r is the radius of the sphere. Okay. So now potential energy depends on r. Whenever potential energy depends only on radial coordinate, we call that potential energy as spherically symmetric potential. So we are going to handle the problem okay, under spherically symmetric potential. Okay. You can use either Cartesian coordinate for potential energy or you can also use the spherical, you know very well R, theta, phi are spherical polar coordinates. Okay, so if you use Cartesian coordinate, we have to solve the Schrodinger equation using Cartesian coordinates. If we use this, you have to solve the Schrodinger equation by spherical polar coordinate. Okay, so this uh, isotropic oscillator problem, right? isotropic oscillator can be solved by using uh, by, by the, the Schrodinger equation can be solved by using Cartesian coordinate or uh, by using spherical polar coordinate right so the isotropic oscillator can be solved uh, the Schrodinger equation for the isotropic oscillator can be solved either by using Cartesian coordinates or by spherical polar coordinate okay see what I'm going to do in this lecture is I'm going to give you the uh, approach and the final solution i'm not going to discuss the complete derivations okay which will dis uh, will will automatically come to know how to uh, uh, solve this type of functions once we discussed 
the hydrogen atom problem and uh, a spherical harmonic problem okay yeah so we will discuss that later right yeah then the next important point here i like to say is so how to solve the schrodinger equation using cartesian coordinates right listen uh, the time independent schrodinger equation can be written as hsi equal to esi where the function depends on x y z coordinate and how to write the hamiltonian for uh, isotropic oscillator in cartesian coordinate it consists of kinetic energy part minus h bar square by 2 mu mu is the reduced mass of the system and del square is the laplacian operator plus half into k this is the potential energy okay for isotropic oscillator psi equal to e psi this can be solved right this equation can be solved by the method of separation of variable so if we apply psi see psi is a function of x y z you can separate this function into three function one depends only on x coordinate the second one depends only on y coordinate and the third one depends only on z coordinate you can separate this into three part okay now if you if you substitute these functions here and if you separate okay you will get uh, um, you will get three one dimensional simple harmonic oscillator right so what i am trying to say see isotropic oscillator is a three dimensional harmonic oscillator you can separate a three dimensional harmonic oscillator into three one dimensional simple harmonic oscillator right if you do like that then you will get the wave function or the equation for psi x equation for y and equation for z okay so what is the equation for x this we have discussed already uh, under one dimensional simple harmonic oscillator so i am not going to uh, derive the, uh, here so the function x can be given as the normalization constant n which depends on the quantum number vx then we have the hermite polynomial and the gaussian function similarly for y similarly for z so now we have three quantum numbers vx vy and vz and we have three coordinates x y z okay now if you multiply these three if you multiply these three you will get the total wave function so the total wave function consists of uh, these three quantities and three hermite polynomials and the three gaussian uh, type function so after multiplication right you will get the simplified form of the uh, wave function now what about the energy right in a similar manner we can also write energy as okay energy e is it can be given as uh, ex e depends on the quantum number vx and energy depends on the quantum number evy and energy depends on the quantum number evz you can uh, divide this total energy into three component okay one depends on the quantum number vx the second one depends on the quantum number vy and third one depends on the quantum number vz okay and you we know already that uh, nvx uh, the energy for vibration energy for one dimensional harmonic oscillator which is given as vx plus half into h nu x and here it is given as vy plus half into h nu y okay and uh, uh, for this one v is z plus half into h nu z okay nu x nu y nu z are um, component of uh, a frequency in x y z directions okay now for isotropic oscillator i have told you already nu x nu y and nu z are equal let me take that value as nu simply for isotropic oscillator uh, these pre these components of frequencies are equal if they are equal then i can simplify this equation as e equal to i'll take h nu see i'll i'll put nu here nu here and nu here i'll take h nu as common if i take h nu as common i'll get vx plus vy plus vz plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 will give me 3 by 2 h nu 3 by 2 h nu this is the energy okay of uh, harmonic uh, uh of uh, isotropic oscillators okay this is the energy of uh, isotropic sorry isotropic oscillator okay and here this quantum numbers vx vy and vz they can take value uh, as like uh, one dimensional simple harmonic oscillator all these quantum numbers can take value 0 1 2 3 4 etc okay so if i put vx 0 vy 0 vz 0 i'll get
yeah if i put vx vy vz0 i'll get uh, um, the lowest possible value of energy so the lowest possible value of energy is by putting the, the vx vy vz quant number 0 as 3 by 2 h nu and this is called this is called zero point energy because classically the lowest possible energy is zero but in quantum mechanically the lowest possible energy for isotropic oscillator is 3 by 2 h nu and this is called zero point energy energy of uh, energy of isotropic isotropic oscillator okay keep this in mind very very important okay then uh, if you go to the next state this is the ground state actually this is ground state if you go to the first excited state first excited state for first excited state you take uh, uh, any one of the quantum numbers one and keep the other two zero okay so uh, if I if I take uh, vx one vy zero and vz zero I'll get a state if I take uh, uh, vx zero one zero I'll get another state and zero zero one will give another state so each one will give one state so you'll get three states we'll get three states but they have same energy what is the energy e equal to if I put one zero zero or zero one zero or zero zero one in this equation I'll get same energy what is the value? The value is 5 by 2 h nu. So, for this energy level, we have three degenerate states. Okay. So, in three dimensional harmonic oscillator, uh, we will get uh, a degeneracy by making use of this uh, quantum numbers or this formula. Okay. You can also find the degeneracy directly by using this formula. Let me give the formula directly. See, degeneracy g equal to. Uh, 1 by 2 into v plus 1 into v plus 2 where v is the sum of vx plus vy plus vz. So, if you know the value of vx, v, vz, you can calculate degeneracy directly by using this formula. Okay, suppose, uh, uh, suppose if, if, if I take the state 0, 0, 0, for this state 0, 0, 0, what is the degeneracy? v is 0, v is 0, because 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 so v is 0 if v is 0 I'll get here 1 here 2 so 1 into 2 2 2 by 2 is 1 degeneracy is 1 you know very well degeneracy 1 means it is not non degenerate state All right then I'll take uh, uh, I'll take uh, another uh, 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 state that is uh, 1 0 0 or 0 1 0 or 0 0 1 for all these three for all these three sum of vx plus vy plus vz will give me v equal to 1 if v equal to 1 1 plus 1 is 2 here here 1 plus uh, 2 is 3 so 3 into 2 6 6 by 2 is 3 so which gives me degeneracy equal to 3 right so it is called double degeneracy so you can calculate degeneracy if you if the three quantum numbers are given Right. If three quantum numbers are given, add all the three quantum numbers, you will get a value V. Substitute that value V here, you will get uh, degeneracy for uh, isotropic oscillator directly. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, you can also solve, I have told you already, you can so also solve the isotropic oscillator problem by using spherical polar coordinate. Okay. So, uh, solving Schrodinger equation, solving Schrodinger's equation using spherical polar coordinate which I am not going to do here uh, but this is also very simple okay uh, what is the Schrodinger equation is HSI HSI uh, now psi depends on the coordinate r theta and phi okay equal to e into psi r theta and phi in spherical polar coordinate Okay, and this can be solved as uh, what is the Hamiltonian? Hamiltonian is minus h bar square by 2 mu into del square. Uh, yeah, del square you can write in spherical polar coordinate also. Uh, this is the kinetic energy operator plus potential energy depends on uh, depends only on the radial part. Okay, equal to psi r theta and phi equal to e into psi r theta and phi right uh, here uh, 
you can separate the rotational part right and uh, angular momentum can be uh, can be given separately i am not going to show you the method but i'll give you the the idea the idea is this see the wave function r theta phi wave function depends on r theta phi you just separate this into two part one depends on the radial part and the other one depends on the angular part okay and this is called spherical harmonic function so uh, we have separated the wave function into two part one is radial part the other one is uh, angular part remember this separation is possible because potential energy depends only on r now whenever potential energy depends only on r then you can separate like this then uh, uh, by substituting this here and uh, uh, by making some uh, mathematical calculation we can find the expression for energy and wave function so i'll give you the expression for energy here which is uh, very important uh, to remember uh, the expression for energy is this e is equal to uh, uh, 2p 2p plus l plus 3 by 2 into h nu this is the energy formula right uh, in the case of uh, isotropic oscillator when we solve the Schrodinger equation by using spherical polar coordinate here p and l are quantum numbers p can take value 0 1 2 3 4 etc similarly the l can also take value 0 1 2 3 4 etc okay uh, the, there is no uh, link between p and l they take the value independently okay see what i'm trying to say suppose uh, if p equal to 0 and l equal to 0 i'll get the ground state so for the ground state what's the energy e is equal to uh, if i put p equal to 0 here and l 0 here i'll get 3 by 2 h nu so the ground state energy is 3 by 2 h nu the same energy we got uh, as like uh, uh, in Cartesian coordinate method okay but in Cartesian coordinate we had uh, we had seen three uh, quantum numbers but here we have only two quantum numbers p and l okay yeah then uh, suppose if I take uh, p0 and l equal to 1 I will get the first excited state first excited state so what is the first excited state e equal to put p equal to 0 here you will get 0 l equal to 1 so 1 plus 3 by 2 I will get 5 by 2 5 by 2 h nu and this is the uh, energy of the first excited state and what is the degeneracy listen l value is 1 you know very well if l is 1 then there are three possible uh, states okay one is l uh, 1 uh, m plus 1 l 1 m 0 l 1 m minus 1 so you'll get three states therefore uh, the degeneracy of this of this level first excited state level first excited energy is uh, 3 okay so you'll get the same answer but the energy expression is different that is important okay so this is regarding uh, three dimensional harmonic oscillator then before completing I'll give one more information here regarding parity regarding parity of wave function psi you know very well a wave function uh, may have even parity or add parity and uh, depending upon uh, whether uh, uh, depending upon this uh, condition that is if psi of suppose I will take a wave function psi of x if I replace x by minus x if this is equal to plus 1 or minus 1 of psi